In December 1987, United States President Ronald Reagan hosted Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev at the White House for a ceremony that became a symbol for a new era of detente between the two superpowers. The importance of this treaty transcends numbers. We have listened to the wisdom of, in an old Russian maxim, and I'm sure you're familiar with it. My, Mr. General Secretary, though my pronunciation may give you difficulty, the maxim is dovayai no provayai. Trust, but verify. <laughs> now, some foreign policy and non-proliferation experts are concerned the treaty's demise might usher in a new, less secure era. Certainly, the idea that now the United States would begin to produce new weapons um, for use in countering Russia in this way is really destabilizing. I mean, Ronald Reagan and Gorbachev like realized that this was a bad idea, and they took that whole class of weapons off the table. Um, because they realized that it was so destabilizing and it was so risky for peace in Europe. Other experts say Europeans, who are within the range of Russian intermediate missiles, worry this may lead to the scrapping of the larger New START treaty, which expires in early 2021. And they're very worried about the future of arms control because they see a president in the White House and a national security advisor that are skeptical toward uh, traditional nuclear arms negotiations and agreements. President Donald Trump told VOA he is hopeful there will be a new treaty to replace it. Russia would like to do something on a nuclear treaty, and that's okay with me. They'd like to do something, and so would I. But the UN Secretary General also expressed concern. I strongly encourage the United States and the Russian Federation to extend the so-called New START agreement to provide stability and the time to negotiate future arms control measures. Russian President Vladimir Putin signed legislation a month ago suspending his country's participation in the INF Treaty, five months after the Trump administration announced its intention to pull out of the pact. Cindy Sane, VOA News, Washington.